Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the official ARC podcast number 262. My name's Coach Brad, and I'm here live with the core team. Your host tonight, as always, our wonderful leader, Atlas. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you for the introduction, Coach Brad. And folks, welcome back to another edition of the ARC Daily Podcast. This is Thursday, July 20th. We have just concluded, not too long ago today, a AMA over at the bonus round. Our good friends, TJ, Kuro, and Jane. Jane at the water cooler over at the bonus round. They are day one investors. This was our second time coming to speak with them. The first time we went in, they understood that there was something special, something different about the ARC, about this team, about the quality of the, the work and products. And they came in, they came in heavy and they printed a ton of money here on the ARC for themselves, really in the worst of times in the history of crypto. A lot of folks told us, don't launch. Nobody's going to come. Nobody's going to invest. And boy, did we prove them wrong. So they're smart, sophisticated DeFi investors. They knew what they were getting into. They knew that they would do well. And they're understanding of what's happening with price at the moment. Of what's happening. They're extremely excited as they've used the on-ramp, the off-ramp, particularly the air card has become a part of their daily use. They're promoting it within their community. So we went there to talk to them more, explain to the to the community there how the air card works. We talked about the Terra card. We talked about the decentralized VPN that's coming, the encrypted email service. I mean, it was a great opportunity to do what we love to do, which is to talk to everyone who will listen about ARC. We uh, talked a little bit about ARC Light as well, how that's bringing in a whole new set of investors, new investors in crypto into a easy system, giving them exposure to all of the other utility products that generates that revenue, but also exposure if they want to go into the the higher yield system that we're all at this point experts in i would say so um yeah great to to be there there were some very positive comments that are, there was some praise the quality of the products they uh, appreciate how this team has been here every single day didn't pick up the ball and, and run home on the contrary shows up every day is passionate about the work that's happening here has clearly targeted opportunities gaps in the market where our fintech solutions are really going to come in and then our security solutions are going to flourish and take off as well so a uh, great great time we had over there but also uh participated as usual to the tag team as we always do and I think it was a very productive meeting and we're going to continue with that going back to those groups and it's not about um, trying to convince people or, or, or push them or pressure them we've never done that to be clear we've always been very forthright and clear to every investor asking them to do their due diligence asking them to understand that this is not a shit coin that you can buy and five minutes later regret it and get out with a minimal loss or with a large loss. I mean, when you come into the vault, you're committed through time, understanding there's no guarantees. So it's a different conversation. It's not asking them to come into an investment. It's, it's asking them to come into a product that they could literally use instantly. As much as they would like to, they could earn through the affiliate program. Who doesn't like to earn some cash by bringing a friend to a product that's also going to solve something very particular in their life? 
So uh, it's different, it's fresh, and they get it because the revenue is coming back. They're, they're investors here. They're, they're working out their DCA strategies. They shared some of their, their alpha of how they're stacking up and coming in because they understand the cycles that happen, the boom, the bust. Some people get very distracted. They go away, but new folks come, and we have the whole opportunity all over again, but in a way that is really going to provide, I think, so much more security and sustainability on a long-term basis as we will see the revenue taking center stage in the system. And that's something that I think is has been lacking in the space for forever. <laughs> but leave it to the heart to come and find a solution, folks. Let's go ahead and take a quick look and let's see what's happening on the arc. Go through some of the stats. Hope you're you're all having a fantastic day today. And uh, I'll go ahead and read the stats out for you. Oh, that lost the uh, the right tab. There we are. All right, we're at five thousand five hundred thirty-six total arc vaults accounts. Liquidity on PC8, PCS, sorry, 90,397 BUSD. IOC reserves, 119,360 BUSD. The price of ARC is 21 cents. Spark price pool, 848.03 ARC. That's a street value, folks, of $178.09. Today we will find here live the 293rd Spark Prize winner. And of course, 10% of that pool will go to the MVP. Today's MVP, their wall ends in 6628. Congratulations, you have already earned your winning spot of the Nitro Boost. <laughs> and with that, we're going to turn it over to our good friend coming fresh off the AMA over there at the bonus round, Mr. Brett Nordine. Great work, sir. Absolutely smashed it. Thank you. Thank you. You as well. Always, always. You always do an amazing job. The master at the AMA. <laughs> the Jerry <laughs> no, Maguire we're... of E5. <laughs> we're, we're a team, man. We're a team. And we, and we work so good together, man. We really do. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's good to, it's good to get back out there. And, um, you know, you can see it's funny because the momentum can shift so easily. You know, we start doing, you know, a handful of those AMAs and, and, and we just get die balls back on, back on arc and, and using, you know, the, the, the air card and the on-ramp and the, the terror card that's coming soon to shift that sentiment, shift that momentum. You know, um, I think, you know, for as many uh, people that um, did so, so well, uh, we should see that many people coming back with their money and and uh, some attention on these utilities. There's no reason why not every single investor in art can uh, use those products and help support the project that way. So, um, yeah, I've been thinking about how we get that message out there uh, because I know a lot of projects, um, you know, th these are these are high value pro uh, products that I, I think you know we're not like we've said before we're not twisting anybody's arm to use them. Uh, but I just don't see a reason why someone should take their money somewhere else if they already have an Arc Vault account, they have Arc tokens in their wallet. I mean, why not? Just uh, use our product instead of the other, and it will help benefit you and the rest of the community. So it's a win-win. Um, but today was uh, a lot of work. Uh, Alex is just banging away at this tarot card. Uh, he's so motivated, and he actually showed me, uh, Shannon, your Florida Realtor, your picture that you used the air card to buy food and put that food on your family table and he's like this is so motivating to me <laughs> i just want to give you a heads up on that he was very grateful and he's like this is so motivating makes me want to work even harder on getting Terra finished and and get these more you know more of these utilities out in everybody's hands because we can see him making an impact and and uh, not only you know to, to the project but also to people you know they want to have options when it comes to how they manage their money how they Handle their crypto and not be told um, or uh, scrutinized for utilizing their crypto. Spend it the way they want it, earn it the way they want it. So, uh, yeah, 
yeah, it's very empowering and, and also motivating for the team to see these uh, real world use cases coming to life and impacting people's lives in a very real way. So uh, thank you for that image, uh, Florida Realtor, and posting that yesterday. It really helped pump up Alex and he's been working extra hard to get this uh, tarot card finished. So yeah, we're, we're getting close. Um, he has a lot of uh, little back end things to do. Uh, he's, he was able to incorporate the tarot card into the card management dashboard, so that's all active and working now. Um, still in still in development phase, but uh, moving much closer to production. And um, and uh, I've been working today on uh, both our Glide as well as the, uh, the privacy solution. So uh, we're just, we're plugging away. It, it's going to take some time to to get those. Could be fleshed out to a point where we can start really getting into the details on them and start discussing them. But um, we'll get through Terra first, and I think we have tons of stuff to talk about when we go to these AMAs. I mean, even just with the on ramp and the, the air card today, uh, you know, Alex, we were you know, we were more than busy <laughs> and just discussing the rest of the roadmap and sort of the vision for the project. You know, we can easily fill up an hour just talking about the utilities we already have. So with Terra um, to round out that bank. The crypto banking category, uh, we are looking at the bill pay. We mentioned that a few weeks back, but uh, our, our banking side partner, they've made some progress. They actually have it in hand now. So we can start looking at that uh, shortly after Terra. A, a lot of the people, yeah. yes, they're familiar with Sprint. Uh, so this would be a competitive product, something like that. And uh, we haven't seen all the functionality yet, but the, the, the base is there. So. Uh, that could be another uh, another addition to the crypto banking portfolio. So we would have the on ramp, the two cards, as well as the bill pay. And I think that's you know that's a really nice offering to have under one umbrella. Somebody comes, they can pretty much you know buy and spend crypto, and off ramp it in a few different ways. Uh, to be an anonymous air card, pull cash out of an ATM with Terra, or pay their bills directly. And uh, so we'll, we'll dig into that a little bit more. We just want to share a little alpha there uh, with everyone to, to know that we're, we're not stopping with Terra on the crypto banking side. There's much more to do. Um, but the privacy products will obviously be the, you know, the, the real, I think, um, expansion to both the revenue base and the subscription model with a healthy profit, profit margin. So those are really going to be beneficial. Um, you know, we're, we're still few months out, two, two, three months, I would say, uh, of having either a partial product or uh, a complete product, depending on how we want to handle it. Uh, but we're, we're, uh, we're moving and, uh, and I'll keep everyone updated on that as, as we progress. Um, and then obviously our flight will be in that mix as well. So we're going to have to balance, uh, you know, how we launch those and when those are ready uh, with the resources we have. And obviously from a marketing standpoint, how we push those out. But, Pretty much it for me today. I know we're going to be talking about Terra now for about, you know, probably the next couple of weeks as we roll close, closer to getting that launch um, and ironing out the details and, and getting uh, more information out to the community. So we'll keep talking about it out of mind. And uh, well, I'm looking forward to the, uh, the next AMA we have. Absolutely. I heard uh, I heard some rumors that people were already fighting over who's going to get which which metal card. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like well, well, there'll be plenty. There's not just one. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> before they run out, before they run out, folks. So um, yeah, that's that that's going to be fun to see uh, how people you know personalize and, and and you know choose with their own taste their discernment you know what makes them happy and uh you told me yesterday we, we were going to separate for different levels and categories of different colors but we said hey you know why why not have access to everything right where you choose what fits you you know what what color you like and and if you want to customize your card you know and you uh, i don't know maybe you want to put your your logo I mean, I can see Jashan with, 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 with his skull, you know, I can see uh, Johnny Fawcett with his eternity, you know, sign, you know, GI Joe, uh, coach Roberto with his, his great resemblance there on the avatar. I mean, there's, there's no limit to, 
the creativity and what, he, what people are going to be able to do to customize and, and have their best experience. And I foresee that that folks here, they might get not just one, but but a couple of these cards because the arc is going places, folks. And, you know, I particularly enjoyed getting, you know, the respect that we deserve on that AMA today because we know that everybody's watching. We know that everybody's looking and we know that everybody's tired of the same old, you know, over promise under the liver. And it's refreshing for folks to see a team that actually comes through and delivers time and time again. It's, uh, um, oh, yeah. it's great to see that. It's great to see that as we, and if we sell out, if we sell mm-hmm. out one of the metal cards, we can make more. So don't worry. About that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. There'll be a nice problem to have, <laughs> but we are, we are ordering there. You know, obviously we're going to have to order batches in the front end. Um, so we're ordering, you know, uh, re- reasonable quantities of each one. So we'll be fully stocked. Um, and uh, we'll have to replenish those quantities as we go. If there's some, if there's lead times and, and all of that kind of stuff. It's a real world product. So we have to have, you know, we have to honor the supply chain and, and how all that works. But yes, if we do run out, we can always get more. If we're close to running out. We'll order more. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll keep those stocks ready. All right. Well, let's let's move on now. I heard uh, Coach Brad, who's uh, manning the comms here today, keeping us at the high altitude. That you've got something planned for us today. You got some shorts to show. You've got some wheel to toad, some crypto to give away. Is that true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have uh, three brand new shorts. For the shorts competition and like we do every day here on the arc we will be giving away some free crypto Sheesh. <laughs> who doesn't love the sound of the free crypto oh yeah whenever you're ready i'll turn off my screen and you've uh you've got those loaded up ready to go indeed indeed okay here we go sir over to you so we have uh so yeah this is the shorts competition for anybody that doesn't know i'll give you a rundown of how this works and how to get involved so uh, you can either submit your shorts directly to the sweet widget or you can send them to myself or coach mistletoe for submission and how the uh, shorts competition works is we do one short of the day so when we have three shorts entered by the community, we do a daily draw voted on by the community, and the winner of that daily short will win $50 worth of ARC. Once we have a week's worth of those winners, so seven winners, that um, individual will win, uh, that will be voted on again by the community, and that winner will receive $100 worth of ARC. Once we have Four of the weekly winners, totaling one month, we will do another community vote, and the winner of that monthly short will win $500 worth of ARC. And as we always do here on the ARC, we like to to spread the the love as much as possible. So we there are two more parts to the shorts competition. The first one is the piece of content over all of the platforms tiktok instagram youtube in the short format whichever piece of content has the most views at the end of the month that individual will win a whopping 500 dollars worth of arc and then because not everybody's a huge youtuber or has a huge following we didn't want it to you know be monopolized by an existing uh, content creator creator so in all fairness we will draw five random winners all winning $100 worth of arc and you can enter for, for anybody that enters in that month will be will be eligible for that and um you can enter as many times as you like. So if you, you know, if you enter 50 short, um, 
format content then you will have 50 entries so you know you can you can go crazy you can make as many or as little as you like and you know try and pick up one of those random hundred dollars worth of arc prizes so in the the whole of the month i mean that's an insane amount of arc being given away fifty dollars worth a day a hundred for the week 500 for the month 500 for the most views and 500 split between five random winners so there is you know there's a lot of incentive here and a lot of free arc being given away which is you know absolutely fantastic to see great stuff there by the team making this uh, this competition and giving back to the community which is something we've, we've always done so first up today we have three tiktok entries for today and the first one is by Donatello. The poll is live. It's posted uh, in the main chat. So you please go over there, vote for your favourite, and the winner will be drawn live tomorrow on the podcast. So here's the first one, Donatello, and here we go. Right here is my favourite thing ever. In the history of forever, I think about this every day. I think about this all night long. I stay awake, not sleeping, because I'm thinking about this. There we go. Short and simple, 10 seconds long, to the point. Let's go, Donatello. <laughs> Second up today, we have Selectomatic. <clears throat> His is 55 seconds long, so he has taken as, as much of the minute as possible. And here we go. Let's see what you've got for us. Wow, that was fantastic. I I hadn't seen that one. That one was, uh, was entered by Mistletoe before he went away. That was Selectomatic. You killed that. That was that was great. That was really, really good. Well done, sir. Uh, next up, we have a first ever TikTok short from Hear Me & Co. And I, I love this one. Fantastic choice of song. I think music is very powerful. And uh, this this is great. I can't enlarge this one, unfortunately. We have to watch it like this. There's no option to to enlarge it. But uh, here we go. Hear me and co. I think that just keeps playing. That's why I stopped it. I, I think it just keeps going. <laughs> but it's, that's great. Just, you know, it's documenting her, her life, her daily routine, you know, using the ARC products, getting the morning coffee, getting your nails done, whatever you're doing, using ARC products. Fantastic stuff. And for a first time, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't think that was a, a first time creator. So, you know, just shows anybody can do this. Uh, great, great edit in there and, you know, very, very well done to you. So they are the three shorts for the day. 
as I said, they are in the contest and giveaway and the uh, main channel. Please go over. The poll is live. Vote. And we will uh, we will draw the winner live tomorrow, the winner of the $50 worth of ARC. And then because this will be the seventh uh, winner, we will be doing week two of uh, the weekly draw. So we will have... Uh, another poll up tomorrow after the podcast for the weekly winner. So fantastic. Good stuff. We're really starting to roll now into week two. At the end of week two, I should say. And uh, I think moving along, Atlas, unless I've missed something, we will do the Wheel of the Toad. Yes, sir. Awesome. Is that time? So for any, anybody that's... Uh, watching or listening you're not sure what this is this is how uh, this is the all aboard wheel and how you get involved in this is through the sweet widget the sweet widget link is posted every single day in the announcement channel in the main chat and the contest and giveaway topic it's really easy and very quick to get involved another way to to win some free arc perhaps you you know you're, you're shy or you just don't have the time to create the content you can still help support all the content creators and all your fellow investors here on the arc by going through the task list on the sweet widget <clears throat> excuse me completing all the tasks they'll range from liking a tiktok or a youtube video clapping up a medium article subscribing to a youtuber and all you do is go through that task list, it takes five minutes, and you get entered onto this wheel every single day. For, well, you have to complete it every single day, but we run it every day. And you'll be entered for the chance to win $50 worth of ARC. So if we are ready, sir, we will spin that wheel. Good luck, everyone. Oh, let's go, Glenn. Congratulations. You've won $50 worth of ARC. Not the first time you know. Always involved here in Sweet Widget. Always getting involved, helping to support the community. We are a community-driven project, so we do ask everyone, please get involved. We've seen this number come down. We want to get it back up into the hundreds, give everybody a chance to win that free crypto and support all the content creators taking the time out of their day to uh, to help promote the arc. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's I okay think to speak. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Glenn. Oh no! Thank you very much for. Um, uh, Winning tonight, it's great. I'm very positive about everything that's happening with Art Fight at the moment. Um, I've, I try to listen to the podcast when I can, and um, I'm so excited about the future and the tarot cards coming out and everything else. Um, I just want to give a big up to everybody in the team and all you guys on there. Uh, we really appreciate everything you'd all do. Thank you for your support, Len. Much appreciated. And- I know people are busy, but it's just great to see you here when you do find the time supporting and, and having patience. And, um, you know, a lot of it is, is really understanding the big picture. So thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, and Glenn's always involved with the Sweet Widget, so it's great stuff. If you can't attend the podcast, you've got all day long to, to enter the Sweet Widget. So thank you very much for your continued support, sir. All right. Let's get to crypto, folks. Speaking of getting Let's crypto. Get sparky. <laughs> can you see the Sparky? We can indeed. 871.11 arc being given away today. Sheesh. It's a big one. <laughs> well, our time high the other day was 1,000, 10% going to MVP. So we are close. Let's actually take a quick look here. Uh, awarded, you know, uh, 945. So, uh, yeah, we got 10% going here. So we're not quite there yet. That was a day where 
we uh, did it earlier and the next day we had a, a surplus built up there but let's go ahead and and released the sparky wish all of you great luck mvp is already won 10 percent i say congratulations to the mvp here we go folks today's lucky winner of the spark prize their wallet ends in two one ce they've taken in 800.36 arc they are a first time winner congratulations first time winners we love to see the first time winners get paid and of course our mvp for today their wallet ends in 6628 taking in 88.93 arc Congratulations, MVP. Yeah! Nitro boost, folks. NDB through the roof, 2% all day, every day. And that brings us to what some say is the best part of the ARC podcast. And that is the DeFi sessions with our very own crypto DeFi expert, Mr. Z. How are you doing, sir? Um, are you able to hear? Yes, sir. Live and direct. Hot off the press. Bringing the news from the crypto streets, Wall Street, all streets. Can you hear us? Or is the Matrix battling to? to keep you from dropping the alpha today. Hello. Mr. Z, can you hear us? Because we cannot hear you. What about now? Can you hear me? Yes. You are oh back. I was, I was in the Matrix. I was in the Matrix. I'm back. I'm back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome on board, sir. The heinous debacles everywhere. Heinous debacles. I mean, I mean, down to it. The, whenever I hear the word heinous debacle, it, it reminds me of taking profit because that's what pe- that's what the institutes do. We got to learn from them, and yep. um, you know, and, and when we look at the markets currently, what we're seeing is profits being taken, liquidity is taken out, and profits being taken, and 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 that's where we are right now with uh, with with the current Bitcoin price. Uh, with the current Ethereum price, and uh, and another token I've been looking quite closely to is XRP. If we, if we look at the, uh, the XRP price, we are at seventy nine cent, and um, and I think everywhere we, we're seeing sort of high lows get get filled. That means people and institutes are taking profits and waiting for the next dip. So that's where the where the current price is. Uh, I'm gonna go straight into the into the big news. And I'm sure. Right. I, I, can you hear me just fine? <laughs> yeah, perfect. I hear the, the the market maker getting paid. The market maker pays pays himself first, and he builds his positions against you, lures you right into the position, telling you we're going to the moon, and then he drops that hammer right on your head over and over. I mean, I mean, how many times have we seen it? How many times have we told him, "Pay yourself, ladies and gentlemen." Mm-hmm. Absolutely, oh, beautiful, that's beautiful. Complete market maker move here. I mean, we we've seen completely taken out, and and that's where we are right now. And usually, before before uh, uh, big uh, big events happen, uh, uh, guys and girls like realize that the uh, that the market maker uh, makes uh, makes moves beforehand. And this happens a lot in, uh, in 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 the stocks. It happens in finance. It happens in crypto, and and we constantly see that. So 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 what. Mostly took out liquidity here was big news that happened in America. So in America, America debuted uh, Fed now, and uh, and then this is a, a small rabbit hole I was kind of looking into. So so Fed. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Heinous, heinous debacle. So so the Fed Reserve debuted a new payment system designed to speed up the movement of money amongst banks around the U.S. The central bank's first new network in decades, so they haven't, um, you can say, put through um, like any sort of like I was expecting this to be the debut of uh, CBDC, and I think a lot of people uh, were thinking the same thing. This is where they start uh, transacting 
their sort of central bank digital currency. Uh, but after much revolt in, in, in a few states, they did not go through that. But uh, they they did move from uh, their Swift rails to this new uh, rail, and and it's sort of helping them speed up their transactions. So 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 yeah, so so the Fed now did make its debut, and uh, and we have some predictions for it. I mean, so let's go into the little prediction. So this is a Forbes. So Mass Network could take close to a day. So, so, so they they believe uh, for for the Fed to take. Like if if they're going at the current speed of adoption as they are, it's gonna take a whole let's say ten to twelve years for it to like connect over uh, you can say thirty thousand banks worldwide. Um, so even though it's it's sort of made um, uh, transactions kind of faster, its adoption will take a really really long time. And uh, and so so the third prediction here is Fed now will replace cash and checks, but not the credit card. Now this is the uh, this is the interesting this is this is where crypto comes into place for its for its utility uh, because because you cannot do uh, checks um, on credit cards because of the borrowing. So in 2021, checks accounted for only five percent of payments. ACH payments ate into the usage of B to C customer checks and cost and consumer to consumer checks declined with the, ri- the rise of P 2 P apps. For now, a lot of B 2 B transactions will use checks. But we will pre- uh, predict that the numbers will decline uh, with the launch of FedNow. So, so this is something that's been happening uh, to the banks for the past, uh, I, I say, five to seven years, where, where where they're starting to like lose out customers. Uh, before they used to have sort of a, a a swift system where 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 a cashier and a sort of a bank manager would sort of allocate uh, your credentials and 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 where your finances go. Uh, but then we've had the rise of uh, of a P2P apps. So we've had uh, cash apps. We've had sort of PayPal making uh, surpluses. And, and what that's done is it's taken a lot of the customers away from the Fed. And uh, and, and they predict that, uh, that that Fed now could start to close that small gap. So, so that's one thing. So, so uh, um, uh, P2B accounts to accounts use cases will grow slowly but steadily. This is uh, my critique of Fed now, where, where where it takes a long time to adapt. They they say it's going to take a decade before all the banks in the world can can use the same uh, streamlined system. So, so so there are a bunch of things that I think these are the points where sort of DeFi comes in and and sort of resolves it in a much more swift way. Uh, the fifth prediction: Fed now will serve as an incremental improvement on the U.S. payment structure, not a paradigm shift. So, so yeah, like, like, like even Forbes are being really realistic here. They're like they're not they're not like selling this to the world right now. They're saying it's an upgrade, but it's not a paradigm shift. Um, so, so they're now looking for ways to diversify the revenue, such as payroll loans and car equity, heading towards a super app model. That so, so this is where we see uh, the Fed trying to move into so 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 we believe that they're trying to move into the wechat module wechat is something that's sort of a, a digitized super app that allows for commerce and for your social media enterprise so, so they're looking uh towards these sort of modules so if there's going to be a qr code renaissance interoperability is a prerequisite so so, so th- these are the kind of things that the fed are going to go through uh, digital wallet. Digital wallet will become the next battlefield in e-commerce and at the point to sell. So, this is something that we've seen in China with WeChat. This is why uh, it's sort of uh, you can say uh, industrialized in, in in China for for there not to be as many competitors because uh, this will become a uh, the digital wallet will be the next sort of like space we believe both in crypto and in um, you can say uh, more more you can say institutional fiat. Sort of levels as well. Um, so, 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 yeah. There, there's there's some goods and bads behind it, and and we can spend all day just looking through it. But, but yeah, the Fed now is uh, it is out, and and it sort of streamlined a few different banks. They say up to eighty banks in America are streamlined, but for this to go to eight thousand banks, we'll see how long that takes. And um, so, so, so that's the update there. Uh, the other update we had uh, in crypto was uh, Solana. 
<clears throat> so, so Solana basically, um, you can say, released their their network perform uh, their uh, network performance report. Like this is really, uh, it's, it's really an interesting because um, if you guys remember last year, uh, Solana was having uh, outages almost in every single launch. So every time we would go into um, uh, a radium launch or or a, or a solium launch uh, sort of pad, we would look for. Uh, to a token to, to be launched and what we would find is there would be outages of, of three to six hours and, and and for the first time this is the first time i've seen solana like be really really transparent uh with what went on um so so thus far they went through a <clears throat> so since february uh the 25th solana has not had one outage and uh and and they've basically like like I've always wondered, like what was it that sort of crashes Solana servers so consistently, and 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 this is where we get into like sort of proof of stake. We look into layer twos, and with Solana, we've seen that this was the issue. Uh, it was a, a, a layer two issue, where where they would receive a massed amount of traffic, and they wouldn't be able to compress that onto their blockchain. Uh, it's, it's it's really similar to like when Ethereum's gas fee goes up to three hundred dollars, for example. Um, so, so, so that's what happened here with um, with Solana. So, since they had uh, since they had their update in, in uh, I think it was mid January when they updated to uh, to version one point one four. Since then, they've been able to handle data in a much more convenient way. So, so I'm going to just read this uptime part here. So it goes uptime a constantly a reliable network is foundational to the trust and continued growth of the network. One of the most important measures of reliability is network uptime. Um, so, so here they, they, they show a small snap, snapshot of what they have currently uh, sort of gone through. And, and, and down to it, when, when, when you look into their outages, it was all down to uh, compression. How can you compress 100,000 transactions in a second? Because uh, currently, uh, at, at, at current levels, Solana does about, I think, 10,000 TPS. And uh, back then, um, in, uh, let's say, October... So October saw one of the biggest outages. It was a, it was a it was a launch for a project called Solchix, and and since those launches, we've seen Yacht and we've seen a few big big NFT projects actually leave Solana space because of this issue. Um, so so when an outage happens, what, what's happening in the background is you have a uh, hundred thousand transactions happening per minute. So you can break that down to about sort of you can say ten to fifteen thousand transactions per minute per second happening and, and and that's what's basically causing the outages so so high traffic uh, and, and they didn't have a way of compressing uh, that sort of information loop so 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 yes yeah, so, so since uh, since version 1.15 has gone up um, Solana has finally seen no more crashes which is which is pretty bullish we want all the mainnets in uh, in crypto to be performing at the right rail so then we don't need things like fed now <laughs> So, so, so that's the update. So Solana hasn't been through one crash in the past since February, which is which is a big, big improvement. Um, now the last thing that I want to sort of work on is uh, is what's happening in Asia, because a lot of earnings reports came out in Asia, and if you guys look at the charts, if you look at the Bitcoin chart, if you look at uh, the dollar index, you look at the Dow Jones, you look at the DXY, everything crashed hard. And this is because apparently in China, um, they've had to sell their dollars to buy back into yuans. So so let me see if I can get this report to you guys just one second. It's here somewhere, but it's, it's, it's a big, big update. So so here, China's major state-owned banks were seeing selling dollars to buy yuan in, in the offshore spot markets in early trades on Thursday, citing two people with too direct knowledge of the matter Reuters, Reuters said one of the sources also revealed that such moves uh, was meant to slow the pace of yuan's decline. The offshore yuan strengthened uh, by 0.66% on afternoon trading at 7.18. So, so yeah, this is what happened uh, last night. So if, if you guys look at the asset classes, if you look at gold, Bitcoin, everything took a big, big uh, sort of swing uh, 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 going lower. And it's because uh, China was uh, sort of selling uh, sort of the dollar value on all its assets. So yeah, I think that sort of um, covers uh, the, the news for today. I hope you guys found that uh, fruitful. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. G. Before you leave, Mr. Z, do you know that the Litecoin happening is coming August the 2nd? I think uh, Mr. Big's uh, mic is hot mic. Oh. Um, no, no, he was asking you. Yeah, he just sounds oh. slow. Yeah, this, what, what, was he, what was the question? The Litecoin halving is coming up August 2nd. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we talked about this last week, didn't we? Oh, yeah. um, okay, because I, I just bought a little bag of Litecoin last night. Just in case. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, the halving happens second of August, and uh, and it's going to be a big one. Uh, so Litecoin having happens this year. I think currently Litecoin's at ninety nine dollars. Or is it? Let, let, let's go check out the price real quick. Yeah, Litecoin is is, is going well. Uh, Litecoin halving this year. Next year, Bitcoin halving. American elections, it just seems scripted now. <laughs> um, awesome. Hey, I got I got a monkey wrench for the script, Mister Z. Yeah, go for it. We're you know how we're always talking about don't don't buy the hype with the the BlackRock ETF and you know be careful out there. We know mm-hmm. something's brewing. <laughs> what yeah. do you think would happen to that chart? I don't know if you want to pull it up here, but yeah. if everybody gets all the FOMO and hype for the BlackRock ETF and then they get denied. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> what then, would that do? <laughs> then, yeah, what be taken by here will be taken down here. That's what's going to happen. Price will really, really fall. We go into windfall. Um, so yeah, that, that's what happens usually. We we had that last year. Last year when uh, when Grayscale were denied their ETF, prices crashed. <laughs> I'll never forget it. And then you sprinkle that with some other fud. You know, you throw another body under the bus, right? Uh, and you just uh, keep rolling it down. And then before you know it, oh, they resubmitted the application, and boom, <laughs> they've already locked in their position. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days, my friends. Not financial advice. I'm not saying that will happen or even can happen. But when you've been around these people long enough, you understand that they are ruthless. And it's never what they tell you. It's never what you think. Um, They spin the narrative. They do it very, very well. So, yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, man, that would be brilliant. Because it, it is to that level, and it's such a sure thing, and every talking head and Kramer, CNBC Live, and, you know, uh, Maria Ramatolo over there. Like, man, when they're all, like, saying the same script and reading the same word verbatim, word for word, get ready. So, I'll, yeah, that was – I'll give, one example. I'll let, I'll give yeah. one example of that. So, so, so what happened here <laughs> – Right, so the price was here around 30k. We were, we, this is just April, end of April. We were at 30k. Mm-hmm. Everyone was sort of in, in a happy, sort of joyful mood, right? And mm-hmm. then we had Coinbase that happened in the first week of May. So what did what did what did, what did market maker do? Market maker took out 30k, went all the way down to 25k. Now, now the interesting thing is like the the second we 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 tapped in 25k, look how quickly. The BlackRock ETF took price up now, right? So, so mm-hmm. the price really went up. We we took out liquidity, the lowest, the low, the lowest we've been since last year, and then Market Maker takes us back to 30k. But but he, but he does it in such a fashion where where you have no time. Everyone is so down, right? Everyone is flooded. Everyone is sort of in fear, yep. and you don't you don't take a position. But that, that's when we were telling people here to to to, to look into dips, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and, and and that's it. BlackRock ETF comes out. We go up almost how many percent? We went from twenty five k to thirty k, like like huge gains there, right? About thirty percent up. We go up, and nice. uh, and, and and now we're currently at twenty nine k. I think like there's so much to happen. Like if we talk Black Swan Swan events, right? We have uh, mm. BlackRock ETF coming up. We have uh, two interest rate swaps happening this year, and we know they're rising. Like, like they're not denying that there's going to be two more interest rate hikes in in, uh, in the Fed. There's going to be the, the U.S. election, and uh, and and there's uh, the sort of Ukraine uh, sort of Russia conclusion to happen, 
And then when, once that's all done and they're done with uh, black swans, then, then they bring up the Taiwan and, and sort of China infrastructure, especially now that sort of China is selling the dollars. I think that's going to be the, the, the new sort of like uh, news feed. <laughs> and then, uh, but, but for us, like we're looking at technical sides, always keep it technical uh, people because that's how you would keep uh, keep an entire of these pr- uh, prices and stuff. So, so yeah, that, that's it for me today. Thank you, Alice and everybody. Let's go. All right. Thank you, Mr. Z. Thinking outside the box. We don't buy the hype. We don't buy the news. We wait for the hand to show, and then we react. We're not uh, FOMO boys. We're not moon boys. We're realistic. We have our feet right here on the ground. I want to thank everybody for coming out today. And also thanks to the good folks who came out to the AMA over at the Bonus Round Lounge. Love those guys. Great community. Very supportive of the ARC, and it was great to see you all there flying the flag and supporting Brett and myself as we do what we love to do, talk about ARC and uh, build the ARC and then share it with so many folks. We're going to be back tomorrow, same time, 4 p.m. EST, 8 p.m. UTC. Stay tuned. We have more AMAs in the works, more marketing, more growth, more people. You know, they're coming out of the woodwork. A lot of folks in my DMs because, you know, it's not an accident, folks, that we ended up with these fintech projects. I've been working on this for some time. There are folks in my DMs, hey, I've heard about the card. I've heard that, you know, this is going. You told me about this, you know, two and a half years ago, three years ago. And they're seeing it. And uh, it's just fantastic to hear the, the feedback and the respect that's coming to the ARC, to this community, to the vision, and the work to, to make it all reality. We wish you all a fantastic rest of your morning, day, afternoon, evening, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Take care.